Hey guys everybody, I'm about today. We're gonna be talking about the new Just Karita mantra that just got dropped in the Just Karita update, I'll call it, right? And so it's called Karita Leap. Um, it has 20 light weapon as a requirement and you need Just Karita, of course, and you can get it through leveling or going up to the shrine and turning it out if you don't already have it. And so let's go into what it actually does. The Karita Leap mantra, it's a leap, right? And it's like a kick and it's actually unfinished, right? It should actually be like completely finished and turn it into like a combo mantra next week. But right now, you're able to do two things with it right so you're able to either kick your opponent right and it does an all right amount of damage nothing crazy but a decent amount of damage or you can like leap into a wall and then like jump upwards right um so forever whoever is like trying to do those track star builds might be crazy for you you can also extend its range using perfect lenses and crystal lenses, and it can go actually like decently far if you have the right stuff right um but yeah for the most part decent wind up right it does okay damage and it'll be turned into an even better mantra next week um so yeah it's kind of like a uh, it's supposed to be a two-parter especially if you land it right and uh yeah let's just go into how good the mantra is about not going into time so annoyingly my audio cut out for the entire fight but basically for the most part right you can tell that for the most part i was either hitting his block when i used an m1 faint into it or i would use it basically in neutral and it would hit him because it came up pretty quickly so again i would just use his mantra as a whole just to immediately start like going into somebody because it ragdolls too unfortunately there's kind of too much end lag at the end to really combo off of it it's not something like uh the iron kick when you have the spark on it. it's not like that but again it's pretty good because it has a decent amount of damage and it's hard to punish too because it goes right past your opponent even if you get parried right so you can't really get punished for using it so overall just a great match just to throw out sometimes and yeah those are my thoughts around it guys all right i'll be seeing you guys later peace